Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. We are your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus and Ushamut Zide Pinkavichin. We've been mastering secrets of organ playing for more than 20 years and sharing them on this blog since 2011. On this show, which we create from our home in Vilnius, Lithuania, we strive to help you grow in every area of organ playing, including practice, technique, repertoire, sight reading, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory, harmony, and many others. Our hope is to help you become a complete musician, or what we call as total organist, a program which we have created to help you reach your dreams faster than you would do on your own. If you are new here, we invite you to subscribe to receive free updates of this blog at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video on how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini chords. And now let's go to the podcast for today. Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Usha. Uh, let's start episode 420 of Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. And this question was sent by Dieter. He writes, In Bach's two-part inventions, if I were to move some of the left hand to the pedals, how would I set about that? Interesting question. Uh-huh. I mean, Dieter wants to create left hand or right hand and pedal exercises out of inventions, right? How did you understand that he wants to create an exercises? Uh, because I, I haven't comprehended. That would be like an exercise if you play left hand part in the pedals. It would be a great pedal exercise. But he wants just to play some of the notes with the pedals. Oh. What I understood that he is asking how to arrange it. Mm-hmm. And is it appropriate to take some 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 notes from the left hand to pedal part to move some notes. That's right. how I understood it. Some of the inventions doesn't don't fit uh, nicely in the pedals, I think. Yes, and actually I wouldn't do that. I think we are very well suited for the manual performance. Mm-hmm. Because um, honestly, I don't see the reason why you need to do it. Unless, you know, we are talking about like ending cadence. In that cadence, of course, you could, you know, play a few notes with the pedal just to to make, you know, more emphasis on the bass. Mm -hmm. The only point I imagine is that it might make uh, an interesting exercise uh, for the pedals and uh, for the hand, whatever hand he uses. Uh, I did that in trio sonatas when I created left hand training. Uh, I transposed... uh, all those pieces and and um, uh, made an arrangement so that an organist would play any part with the left hand only. And uh, in in turn, the technique of left hand would be become, you know, stronger. And then the second uh, level of this is two part training, where actually two parts are arranged from trio sonatas and. And you could play just the two hands or right hand and pedals, left hand and pedals uh, from that from that setting also transposed in, in many keys. So the, I, I was thinking more along these lines as an exercise. But still, it would be difficult for pedals, I think. Definitely, because, you know... If we are talking about these two-part inventions, both voices are equally important and equally mm-hmm. complicated, complex. So, anyway, I think it would be hard to play them with a pedal the left hand. And if you would do that occasionally, I don't think it would sound appropriate mm-hmm. or nice. The, the, the main problem is obviously the range. Sometimes left hand goes beyond what it's possible to do in the pedals. So probably in these cases 
it would be wise not only to move you know one note downward because it would sound strange but maybe entire fragment uh, entire maybe motive or phrase downward i would say from the left hand part to the pedals but uh, down one octave if, if it doesn't fit the range how would it sound if you would um, try to add an extra voice with the pedal let's see to emphasize the harmony is it possible huh. good question uh, i guess we need to try and find out uh, Maybe obviously, it would work with some, some obviously in each measure there are at least a couple of harmony changes, right? In, and in cadences even more, which means that your feet could play the the bass note of the harmony, but it would sound sort of it's sometimes cheesy, I would say. <laughs> I think so too. I don't think Bach would be happy, you know, if he would hear what we are talking about, you know, rearranging his inventions. If you added a third voice in the in the somewhere in the middle or in the the descant range, like a second soprano, then it would be a trio texture, and and it wouldn't be that far from what Bach himself would have been would have done when he sat down on the harpsichord and accompanied um, a singer or a soloist uh, as a continual player, definitely he would add an extra voice. Sure. So, but actually my final advice would be that better play them as we are written. Because Bach left so many compositions, if you want to play something with a pedal, I'm sure you will find some music that you can develop your pedal technique. For example, three-part symphonias. That's right. Yes, you could play them as trio. Sure. Easily. Take the lowest voice in the pedals, the middle voice in the left hand, and the top, top voice in, in the right hand. Yes, because Bach was a wonderful pedagogue himself, and each of his pieces you know, served also pedagogical purpose, especially when we are talking about you know, two-part inventions and then symphonias and trio sonatas. So Interesting question, though. I, I'm very happy people are experimenting with those ideas. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But uh, in all cases, people learn something from from the experiment itself. Of course. Great. Thank you guys for listening and for applying our tips in your practice. We hope this help help you helps you grow. And please send us more of your questions, and we will discuss them in the future episodes of the podcast conversation. This was Vidas and Usha. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. This blog is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online, where you will find courses for every area of organ playing, including technique, practice, sight reading, repertoire playing, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory and harmony, with hundreds of scores and thousands of exercises. Here is what some of the students are saying. Hugh writes, The sight reading course has helped me tremendously. Thank you very much for your SS courses and all your help. Robert writes, I found the fingerings, registration ideas and general comments to be excellent. John writes, I have found your download very helpful. It was really excellent. I have watched some of your teaching videos and when I read your instructions. I try to imagine you are there teaching me. You may feel disappointed that I am two three days behind, but I am a slow learner, and I have committed to taking the time to get it right as you say. But the other night my wife commented that she had never heard me play such a detailed melody in the left hand so well. My left hand is generally poor. Robert writes, 
It has been a great pleasure in my life of having discovered your courses and material as well as the YouTube work of recordings. You have a calm and pleasant way of teaching. Ron writes, Hi Vida Santosha, thank you guys. What a wonderful response to my email note to you. You've got me right, and I feel you understand my level of playing. Yes, at home and lucky that I have an organ for that reason. I am paying attention to this, and I am going to try this haha no longer secret model. Yes, and I love Caesar Frank too. What is very nice about your blog podcast is that Osha and Vidas are like a Socratic dialogue, and by bouncing things off of each other, so much more information comes out and is expressed. Your comments contain a wealth of information and understanding. I really appreciate this. It is very inspiring and will keep us moving forward. Would you like to receive the same or even better results that our students are getting? If so, join them at organduo.lt slash total dash organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to receive free updates of this blog, Make sure you do that at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video How to Master Any Organ Composition and 10-Day Organ Playing Mini Course. This was Vidas and Osha from Secrets of Organ Playing. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen.